Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, uh, Coins, Rolls, and Varieties. Today we'll be moving on to part two of what's in the box. Um, first I want to apologize for recording nearly a full hour of video with my camera positioned incorrectly. Rookie. Anyway, let's get started. Let's see if we can find anything in the next ten rolls today. I did take a quick peek at um, the more modern years. Um, for example, like 2016 through 2022. I'm not seeing any results for uh, 2022 yet. So, looks like that, that one is still... Still, it looks like nothing has been found yet is what I'm trying to say. 2019 view. Uh, 98 here. Is it a white AM? No, it is not. I think there is uh, something for the 2019 B. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the uh, spin around here in a circle and take a, a peek at my computer real quick. doubling on the date it doesn't look very dramatic so I don't know it might just be worth it to have one for myself if I can find one okay, okay. and then oh yeah 2018 Philadelphia also a double date on that one that one looks pretty good and then the uh, 2018 D another double year so it looks like the Denver's was a double year and then um, the Philadelphias are either in the date or, well, are in the date. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to hit the camera there. Let's go ahead and get back to it. I try not to make this video long like the last one. The last one was pretty long. So, I'm going to try to go a little bit quicker in this one. a nice rainbow on that 2015D right there. It's a nice looking one. This looks like I'm going to be looking at the uh, 2019s and the 18s in, in these next 10 rolls. Another 1964D. As we know, there are tons of Varieties with that year on the reverse. Ninety-five. You know, I have I have not found the ninety-five or the ninety-five Denver um, double dies in a penny box. Wish. It'd be nice to find one of those in a penny box, but it's probably one of those varieties that are not in my state, so. Well, not yet anyway, so once they circulate long enough, they should, you know, they make their way around. You would think anyways. Okay, number one, let's get on to number two. Said, I'm going to try to make this a little bit quicker than the last one. The last one got pretty long and I didn't even realize it. So, the length of that video, I was stunned. Completely stunned. Just want to go ahead and take this uh, 
take the opportunity to thank you guys for coming back. And if you wouldn't mind giving me a like and a subscribe, maybe even throw a comment in there, I would really appreciate it. It'll help me do more of these down the road. More of these videos is what I'm trying to say. Looks like I've done 12 rolls so far and I have not found a wheat. Not yet. We should find a couple of them. But as I said, I haven't done one of these boxes in some time, so I don't know if if there um if there's as many as there were in the boxes of, you know now as there was a few years ago just found a 1966 philadelphia there is a really rare double die reverse for this uh year i've been looking for this double die reverse for a decade i really like to find one of those they're really rare and i feel like um you can get a pretty decent premium out of one if you can find one in au au ish maybe even um extremely fine Probably get something good out of it. Nine. It's a uh, pretty strong double die and, a, and one cent. And I believe it in the uh, United States of America. Oops. Losing them. That's all a mess. Denver, nothing, nothing for that year. 2018, or, uh, 2018. There's just way too many uh, 2021s to be going through all of them. So I think I'm gonna pick and choose on those. I'll take a look, take a glance at the near perfect. Near perfect uh, strikes. 2018D. Now we know there's a double ear on that year, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at those. 2021. I do not look at these with a loop. look at them with something um, a lot stronger and I will share what that is down the road in a later video um, when I first started doing this um, the one thing I struggled with was how much time it takes to go through these and then to look at them one by one with a loop or a magnifying glass really is um, it really is a time burner so I had to really stop and think about how to see these coins and to be able to determine whether or not they are a variety quickly and I figured it out and it really only takes a, a, a small glance and I can I can tell I can see every detail of these and as I said I will share that with you guys down the road nothing so far 
eight. I'll look at that one. Seventeen. I guess there's a, a 2017 Philadelphia that's also a double a double ear. So we're gonna be on the lookout for one of those. I think I um, pointed out a 1991 in the last video, and, I, and I'm incorrect. I don't, if it was a 1991 uh, that I had spoke of and said that there was a double diverse for that one I was looking for, I was wrong. It's, it's the um, 1990, not the 1991. There's a nice double diverse for the 1990. Philadelphia. Yeah, man, these are really beat up. Sometimes you can get a really decent box, and a lot of times they're like this one, where just I don't know, I don't know where they came from. Very beat up. Now the ones I'm putting off to the side are the uh, more modern dates that there's really um, not much data on them. The ones that I want to take up too much time looking at them, you know, inside of a, a video. Right now I'm looking for more more popular varieties real quick, seeing if I can find one while I'm doing a video. Should be really awesome. It's a nice 2022. 83 Philadelphia. I love finding the Philadelphia the 83 Philadelphias. As I said, I really want to find that uh, DDR. And I've looked at so many of them. And again, it's probably one of those varieties that aren't here in my state. And I wonder how you would go about getting a box from another state into your state. Oh, look at that, our first wheat. Our first wheat penny. What is that? It's a 1952D. 1952D, and it is in VF to XF, Let's see if I can get that to, VF to XF detail, there's some, um, there's some damage on the front of it, but there is a, uh, there's a very good variety for this one, it's the, um, the over mint mark. So we're gonna have to go ahead and look and see if that is the uh, DORS. Unfortunately, in that condition, if it is a DORS, I would own it. It would it would be mine. Because you can really get a nicer one than that one for not very much at all. Probably pick up a really nice looking one for, I don't know, 20 bucks, maybe even less. Oh, 1959 close I also want to pay attention to the 1959s there is a um, there is one of these with the uh, the wheat reverse where the die didn't get changed out and that one is um, that one's really rare too that's one of those varieties that would get you um, 
it would either get you a really great premium or it would really make your collection nice. Kind of that one. Whoops, lost one again. Oh, that's right, that one I dropped in the last video. It was uh, no big deal. It wasn't anything. Nice looking 2019. Looks uh, like it had something spilled on it and it's giving it some really nice colors in the patina. But I'm pretty sure that they would call that details if I were to send it in. If it were a variety, I was what I'm trying to say. The problem is with the varieties that aren't in the cherry pickers guides, um, the bigger your grading um, services won't even they won't cert they won't certify them a variety they will only grade the coin which really makes things tough honestly I've had some really nice varieties that I really would have liked in um, in a certain in a certain box but because of that rule the um, cherry pickers rule you, you, you can't get them graded or you can't get them uh, classified certified or whatever so hopefully they change that down the road If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. I'm, I don't know if I can use speak about the um, the grading agencies in my video without permission, so I'm just gonna go ahead and talk in code about that. Oh yeah, 72, Philadelphia. Spin around and check this year on my computer real quick. You can also find die cuts, um, which is where the uh, the die used to strike the planche is broken or missing a piece. Those really do pick up a nice premium if you find one. Oh, look, we got another wheat here. 1946, Philadelphia. Another wheat penny. Um, that's number two. This one is a um, definitely an EF, extremely fine. The wheats look nice and full still, so yeah, I would, in my opinion, I would call that an extremely fine, nice looking coin. All right, let's move on here. 18. Some nice 2018s. So. 
Maybe that we can get double ear on that one. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at some of these real quick. Get them out of the way. so far. The 1983D and for doubling and then you need to do a burst or the reverse. Let's see anything. So in the 84 Philadelphia looking for the doubled ear. Philadelphia looking for the um, white AM, which again is the uh, the AM in America being separated from each other. The 1989D, I'm looking at the date, the nines. The 1986D, I believe I'm looking at the, the mint mark on this one. But I'm just going to go ahead and check the whole coin just. Just in case here, I'll see the doubling if there is any, and if I see it, I'll look it up. And see if there's any varieties or if it's just a um, master die double. 1995, looking at the date in, in God We Trust. Four, Denver. I'm just gonna look over the whole coin, a verse and reverse, for any spread at all whatsoever. Twenty twenty one Philadelphia. I am again looking at the the entire coin. Another nineteen ninety five D. No joy. Go ahead and take a look at these real quick. 2018. Is this the 66? This is the 1966 Philadelphia. And this one I'm looking at United States of America and one cent for a really nice spread. And that is not the one. I believe there is an adverse double dot on that one as well, and it's really hard to see. It just it looks just you know like the normal the normal strike, even when it is doubled. Okay. A couple more here. We'll move on to the next four rolls. Hopefully this video isn't getting too long. I said I wanted to hopefully keep this one a little bit shorter than the last. Is that the other one I'm looking here? It's not 83. I didn't look at the reverse. I don't think there was anything reverse the 83 Denver. That I can remember. 64D, I'm looking, yeah, that you can't even see the lettering, it's so beat up. All right. Oh wait, let's do these two real quick. Or have this little stack. I'm looking at the 1972 Philadelphia. There's quite a few double die verses for this uh, year as well, but only ten of them make it into the Cherry Pickers Guide. And only two of them are really 
expensive. Nope, that is nothing at all. Sixty-one, 1961D, I'm looking for the um, horizontal, the D over horizontal D. Okay, the 46, and then the 52D. Right now I'm looking for an over mint mark on this one, which is the uh, D over S. And it is not, nor is it a um, RPM. All right, we're gonna move on to the next four. Uh, look at the coloring on that one. I mean, that one get that way. I think something was spilled on it too. You gotta be careful sending the uh, the co the coins with nice coloring on them into the grading agencies. Not very many. Many of them will pass. A lot of them will get details. They will consider the coloring a damage to the coin instead of, um, you know, natural, natural causes. I forget, ex I forget exactly what they call that when they uh, do get the details. But I've learned that one hard, the hard way uh, more than a couple of times. You think you find something great and it looks beautiful and you're like, oh my gosh, everybody's going to love that thing. It looks amazing. And you send it in, you know, expecting to get, you know, an amazing grade on it. And then it comes back details. And that's uh, really discouraging sometimes, so... Again, you gotta be careful. And sometimes it's hard to see the difference between, you know, natural toning, natural color changing to the patina. can see it on the camera but it's got a pretty cool look to it but you can tell it's uh it's damaged it's definitely a, you know the patina the uh the surface of the coin is damaged and it would definitely get get a details great on that i think they call it alter um something altered Fifty-six Denver. I believe there's a few in Stanton um, RPM on this one. I think there's an FS five hundred one for this this date, so I'm gonna look at that one. I have to look it up real quick just to refresh my memory, but I believe there is one. So that's three weeks so far.
a date on that 2020 looks a little wonky, so I'm gonna look at that. That's a 96 Philadelphia. Looking for the double dive verse on that one. I try to handle all coins like I'm handling um, one of the most expensive coin in the world. I do my very best not to touch the face of any coin, regardless of where it came from. there off to the side and go through them thoroughly at a later time. Denver, there's a nice double dot reverse on that one. The 1968 Denver, if you didn't hear me, 1984 Philadelphia. The variety, that's another one of those ones that I've been looking for and I haven't found. Twos. I just wish they were all Philadelphia. Another 92. There's like four in that stack. All Denver. Oh, 
I'm not seeing anything. Still have about 30 rolls to go through at a later time, so we still have plenty of coins to look at here. fell over. I don't know. I'm going to look at them again just to make sure. No, I don't remember seeing that 73. All right, that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and take a closer look at this little stack here and then uh, that'll be the end of the video. Hopefully that was a little bit quicker than the last time. States of America. Nope. 2013, we're looking for a doubling in Liberty and 2013. 2000, we're looking for a white AM. Nope. 96, we're looking for doubling it in God we trust and the date. All right. What I do want to look at this one real quick. Was it the 56? Yeah, let's check the uh, mint mark on this 1956D. strike all right that's it we got three wheats today just pretty cool 1956 uh, Denver 1952 Denver and a 1946 Philadelphia all right that's it for this uh, this video until next time thanks a lot for uh, joining me Again, please subscribe, like, and throw me a comment. Appreciate it.